Hi, Tucker kids. Hi, Cunningham kids. Hi, Kalikai kids. Hi, Glover kids. Today's tutorial is how to make a tinfoil dinosaur. And I have my little tinfoil dinosaur right here. And this is the uh, first of a two-part project that we're going to make. The first part is we're going to make some dinosaurs. And then the second part is we're going to make a volcano and make it erupt. And the dinosaurs will be standing around the volcano. Okay. So what you need is some tin foil. All you need is a little bit, not too much. I have some very small pieces that I tore up like that because our dinosaurs are so small. A pair of scissors. Some paint. Doesn't matter what kind. Any kind will do. A bowl of water paintbrush, and some masking tape, preferably, but any kind of tape will do. So I'm going to move over my already made dinosaur. I'll put him over here. I don't want him to get wrecked. Move my paint over. So you want to tear off a small piece of tin foil. And um, how I made my dinosaur was I started with the head and the neck first and all I did was crumple up the tin foil to make a small head. So I'm going to crumple it at the corner like this to get what would look like an oval shaped head. Then I squeeze the tin foil a little bit more to get the neck. So I'm just squeezing it with my fingers. Here's my head up here. Bend it a little bit, then I get the neck here. And then I can crumple up the rest of the tin foil for the body. Make my neck a little bit longer. There we go. So here's my head, here's my neck, here's my body. I'm gonna add a little bit more tin foil. I feel like the body isn't big enough. So I just tear off a little more and just wrap it around. And I think I'm going to use a small piece of tape to make sure that that stays. Small piece. Just enough so it stays in place, so it doesn't come apart. Now I'm going to do the tail. So I'm going to tear off a long skinny piece of the tin foil. Like that. Squeeze it. And this tail is especially long. I'll probably just cut it in a minute. Like that. And I'm going to make sure that the tail comes to a nice little point there. I just keep squeezing it. I'm going to put a piece of tape on the tail and make sure it stays attached to the body. I'm going to do the legs and for the legs I only need like a tiny little piece so I'm going to do four legs so four pieces of tinfoil about this big. I'm going to use the tape again. Oops, didn't quite stick. Try it again. There's his first leg. Three more to go. <laughs> Get my tape ready.
Maybe one more. One more, and then I'm going to paint him. So I've got um, sort of a regular green color, a turquoise color, and a little bit of brown for his eye. Get this last one on, and then I'll paint him. You can make as many dinosaurs as you want. I'm just going to show you how to make one today. And the kind of dinosaur that I made, I think it looks mostly like an Apatosaurus or Brontosaurus. Um, it could also be Velociraptor, but the legs, I think for Velociraptor, the legs would be more up top here. But So I'll show you him from his belly so you can see all the legs. <laughs> and then from the side. And this is the other side. And I'll show you the first one I made too. This was the first one I made. I feel like his tail should be lower. Okay. So I'll paint the one that I just made. And these will be the two dinosaurs that are standing beside my volcano in the next video. Oops. I'll make sure he can stand up. He's a little bit heavy on the front. I can fix it. Yay, okay. So I'm going to do him mostly green and maybe like a tiny little bit of turquoise in different spots and then I'll do his eye brown. So this is acrylic paint that I'm using. But like I said, any kind of paint is fine. If you have tempera paint, that's fine too. This just happens to be the kind of paint I have. And the acrylic paint sticks pretty well to the tinfoil. And because the tinfoil um, has all those little sort of nooks and crannies in it, all those little angles, I'm not going to stress out over trying to get the paint in all those tiny little places. Just as long as you know, he looks green and you can tell he's a dinosaur. Bring it a little closer as I'm painting. I feel like there's some underneath here that I didn't get. And because the dinosaur is so small, you can't help but get paint on your fingers as you're doing this. There's no way you can avoid it, so. worry too much about his belly. Don't really see it very much. I feel like I could like spend forever trying to get every little spot that I miss, but I think it's okay. He's, he definitely looks like dinosaur. Still don't like how the tail keeps coming up. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, there's my dinosaur. So in the next video that I post, um, I'm going to show you how to make the, um, the volcano and how to erupt it. And we'll have our dinosaurs all done and we can place our dinosaurs around the volcano and it'll be really cool when it erupts. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please join me in the next one for the volcano and I will see you then.